Welcome back to another episode of Project Bravo. Uh, gonna diagnose this engine and find out what the hell is going on with this thing. The massive blow by, it's using a lot of oil and yeah, using a lot of fuel. So, see in this episode if we can figure it out. Don't mind that, it doesn't have a bonnet thingy or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that first. There we go, now you can see it. First of all, let's check this catch can to get it out because it's absolutely soaked with oil. So, just so you get an understanding, Two days ago, I emptied this catch can and it was completely full. Um, and then I, I put some more in the engine. So, hopefully, I've driven it a little bit now. There's a little bit in here. And I guess there is. I don't know if you can see that, but it's coming out there. So, I emptied the catch can, it was full. And I've only driven it up and down my driveway for about five minutes. Yeah, this was full. This is where I'm going with. So I got the fuel rig right. It goes into the man uh, into the injectors, the fuel rail, and it comes underneath here. It's underneath, comes up, all up here, goes to the rising fuel rig, goes back down. But yeah, so I need to get rid of this because it's a rising fuel rig, but I don't need it because I got a 1200. No idea why we needed this, but I'm guessing. And we might put it on just for a reason. There we go. So that's what I'm doing with. So now I've got to somehow make it so these two connect. All right. So far, I've got the other fuel rig out, which is not needed. Um, but I've just got to find a joiner now to put the two fuel lines together because I've got nothing at the moment, so I'm going to go to the shop spend some money. On this dial, it was reading 58 to 60 with the rising fuel rig. I'm getting rid of that rising fuel rig, well I've gotten rid of it. Um, this should see about 40 pounds. Alright, so I just got off the phone to a mate. He said to adjust it from here, you get the increase and decrease of fuel pressure. So it was at 60, 64, 65. It needs to be down at 40. Let's see what happens. So I got the pressure I needed, it was at 40, uh, 42, which is perfect because before it was at 60, it was getting too much fuel. So with this ute, the airflow was really bad. It was going between 13 and 14 on idle, which is okay. Straight up to 18 and 19, it was running really lean. I'm hoping I've stopped the overfueling issue. Now it's at the right base pressure. Airflow might be a bit better and it might, I don't know, hopefully it drops down instead of goes up to 18. Mm -hmm. AFR is still at 14. When I come on boost, it's about 16 and a half now. So it's not as bad as what it was. It was at 18 and a half. So I'm pretty, pretty happy we're sort of moving in the right direction now. Thanks for sure, you helped me a ton. So did Corey from my work at Plaza Man. They've both helped me tremendously on this. So top to you guys. One pointer that Kurt gave me was might be running out of fuel, hence why the AFRs are so high and running lean. It's starving. So I'm gonna buy a set of Injectors from work, some plasma injectors. Haven't decided if I'm going to go 550s or 720s yet. Depends how much boost I'm going to run in this thing. Uh, probably go 720s. Knowing me, I'll probably turn it up to 10, maybe 12 pound. And when I took it for a drive just before, didn't have a miss down low, which is great. Uh, it actually drove, got up on boost, perfectly fine. It didn't have a little bit of a miss. That's one bonus for today. Something quickly too. SBD. Solman built designs. If anyone wants a turbo manifold for these engines, those guys do it. And they do a plug and play ECU, which is what I'm gonna buy for this. 
all these silicon hoses, I'm going to change the black plasma ones also. Um, even all the piping. Even all the piping, like, along here and everything, is going to get all powdered bit of black. Get rid of all these blue hoses that are everywhere. I'm not a fan of blue. So they're going to go. I'm going to put a biggie catch can on it. So I've still got the other side to do, but I'm not going to film that because this is boring. Alright, so before we go, so before we go, this is what it sits on an idle, which is okay, it's not the greatest. If this reaches past, uh, I think it's 16, 15, it's running way too lean to the point where I could detonate. Down the driveway, bumpiest driveway ever. Just cruising down here to get to a fine road so I can give it a little bit of a hit. But Annoying the neighbours. So it's about five pounds still. That's okay in third, but still getting second is not it's not right. So I got a feeling these injectors are maxing out. Um, and it's just not getting the fuel. So we'll see what happens with that when I put new injectors in. Hopefully that will help the situation. I don't think it's gonna solve it because I definitely need to tune, but it might help the least so I can at least drive it. That's what I'm hoping for. So, this is just cruising, quarter throttle, 14.8, it's okay. Still not the greatest. It's an under the one pound, it's okay. So my conclusion so far, I just taken for his test drive after I've gotten rid of one fuel reg, uh, and now I'm just running the one, the FPR 1200. I feel as though it's losing injector. I'm not getting enough fuel, uh, which is causing it to run lean. Could be wrong, I'm no mechanic. This is all a learning curve for me, but it's a start. See how much is freezing. Yeah, she's still breathing pretty heavily after I just the test drive. So like I said, I think the injectors are just maxed out now. Time to put new injectors in. I think Plasma Man 720s will do just fine. So in the next episode, I'm gonna do a, a compression test and a leak down test, find out if the rings are gone or if there's some issue around that. And hopefully buy some more uh, speed parts.